Once that's done, let's go ahead and fill in this block and we'll be importing a lot of those files and it will just be calling the tune high parameters function. And the data is coming from the training set as the first argument and then the model name is coming from the as a second argument from the uh, load models block. So what happens is when this runs, there will be two blocks, one for each model. And it will run the hyperparameter tuning for that model concurrently with the other ones. Here, just again, variables we can change. I set one and three just to variables. We test it out. But when you want to run this in a real world setting in production, or even locally, you might want to use a higher value. And the random state is for reproducibility. Okay, we can delete these default values since we already have them in the global variables. Now let's run this. Looks good. It's training. It's Outputting logs looks good. Great, here's our output. We can see the hyperparameters. We can see the model also gets serialized and saved, uh, the data that it was trained on.